Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the shores of the Charles River, Magoni Field in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where we're getting set for some Saturday Ivy League action. Thank you, everybody. My name is Liam Poach, and I'm glad you could join me today. Today, we have an important matchup when it comes to the Ivy League North standings. Harvard University, currently sitting at 2-2, two two, hosts the Brown University Bears, who at 3-1 and one are one game and several points ahead of the hometown Crimson. So before we get this game underway, let's go through the rosters now, shall we? For Harvard, we have at number one, Antonio Garcia Alvarado. Number two, Adam Harper. At number three, Gavin Prentice. Number four, Andrew Lewis. Number five, Michael Volts. Number six, Robert Collins. Number seven, Adolfo Jimenez. Number eight, Cameron Clark. Number nine, Spencer Carter. Number 10, Pierce O'Donnell. Definitely watch this kid later on in the match. Number 11, Andrew D'Souza. Number 7, Sebastian Swartz. Number 13, Michael Bacher. Number 14, Albert Gian, Dem uh, Gian Dementio. Sorry about that. And number 15, the ever-exciting Jordan Mumbaco. And for the Brown Bears, the visiting team, number 1, Max Spurl. We're getting ready for kickoff here. Number 2, Adam Ember. Uh, em Emberly, number three, Brett Geis, number four, Austin Royer, number five, Eric Zhao, number six, Will Zeller, number seven, Sean Lumkong, number eight, Jay Kim, number nine, Pete Smith, number ten, John Kim, number eleven, RJ Oris, number twelve, Alex Ogilvy, number thirteen, Pablo Lavilla, number fourteen, Hudson Lee, number fifteen, Lucas Tay, and that is your starting lineup for the Brown Bears as we get ready for kickoff. Our officials getting ready, the players ready to go. And there's the kick by Harvard out to Brown. Bears just barely beyond their 22, gonna look to get out of there. Hold, hold, hold. Brown looking to clear. Will that ball make it the touch? And it does. Number 11 for De number 11 D'Souza for Harvard attempts to field that, is unable to do so. We're gonna go to a line out for the first of the game. Here comes the first throw. And the referee is going to call it back. Obviously not happy with that. Yeah, you can, you can. Let me know, yes. And it looks like we're going to have our first scrum of the match. Here's the mark. Just barely at half field. It's going to be a Brown put in, as you can see right now. Their back line is getting set to attack Harvard in a defensive position. Mumbako, the only one back. And we're going to go to a reset. There's the put in. Oh, but it looks like it is a steal by Harvard out to Pierce O'Donnell, who reverses direction out to number 11, D'Souza. D'Souza going up the far touch line. Harvard's going to set up for their first attack of the game. Out to O'Donnell, O'Donnell the apprentice. Harvard getting it out to Mumbako. Mumbako, that footwork, ooh, over the head of D'Souza, and that is going to go into touch. That's going to be a throw in to the Brown Bears. We're going to give you guys a quick replay for that right now. I'm the tunnel, guys. Now, here we go. Prentice gets the pass out to Mumbako. Mumbako, great footwork, but just a little bit too over his side. That goes over the head of D'Souza. Now back on the field, Brown executes the line out very well, now going down to their back line. Harvard aggressive on the counter ruck. Back 
backward play. Brown now just making it over the halfway point. And that's a kick by Brown's number 10, John Kim. And that's going to find touch. It will be a Harvard throw in. Good. Thank you. Now that lineout is going to come back to the point where it was it was originally kicked as it was beyond the 22. Here goes Harvard's throw in. Out to Carter. Number 12, Sebastian Schwartz taking it hard. Always a fantastic runner. He had a great game against Cornell during the Harvard's home opener earlier this season. But that's going to be a penalty to Brown. Harvard's going to back it up 10. And number 12 for the Brown Bears, Ogilvy. It looks like he's going to try to find touch with his foot. Ball is up. Not the longest of kicks, but good position for Brown to attack inside Harvard territory. Yep. We're going to show you guys a replay of Sebastian Schwartz's run where he absolutely decimated through the Brown defense. Play. Here we go, Schwartz, Play. just one tackler, two tackler. Unfortunately, now we're back to the live game. Brown attacking inside Harvard territory. Brown right now content to play it short. That's a kick by number seven, Lumkong. And that doesn't find touch. Mumbako fields it cleanly. Can he beat his defender to the outside? He does. He has two men. Oh, but a fantastic hit by the Brown defender. And that's going to be a penalty to the Bears. They have great position inside of Harvard's 22. That's We're going to see a replay six. right now. Lumkong sends the kick. Mumbako trying to get away from the defender. He does. He has support to his right, but a big tackle in there by the Brown defender. And right now, the Bears will be kicking for post to try to get on the board for the first time all day. And look at that dog. 15 out of 10, good doge. Oh, I just kind of want to rub those ears right now. Is anybody looking for an extra pillow? This dog is absolutely qualified. Here goes number 10, John Kim for Brown. Kick is up. Splits the uprights. It is three to nothing Brown over Harvard. And we got ourselves a rugby game. Harvard for this game, they had to make a little bit of, a, of an adjustment after their previous game against Yale. Ryan Santos, unfortunately, one of their huge standout players, tore his ACL which is why Pierce O'Donnell, again, one of their standout players for this team, is stepping in at fly half. Uh, he told me before the game, uh, this is the first ever kind of sport where he's actually had to kick a ball regularly. And look at that kickoff by him. Kid's picking it up naturally. He is going to be a great rugby player. Hopefully we see him in an MLR uniform in just a few years. Brown now attacking inside their own territory. Great positioning by their wings, unfortunately. Their scrum half right now seems to content to play it short. Un Whoa, great offload there by Ogilvy. Brown now attacking to the outside. Oh, that might be a potential knock on, but it's a turnover. Harvard now attacking inside of Brown's territory. O'Donnell takes the ball, breaks one tackle. Carter setting it up for Harvard. Out to Schwartz. Schwartz swarmed by tacklers immediately. They don't want to give that kid any space. Upside. That's going to be an offside to Harvard. We're going to see a turnover on the replay right Outside. now. One of you guys shot up too quick. Yep. Here it is. Brown with, with possession and an attempted offload goes the wrong way. Bounces off the knee of his teammate, in fact. And there you see Sebastian Schwartz absolutely swarmed. Harvard kicking to touch now. 
Great attacking position inside of Brown territory. Just outside the five meter, but certainly inside the 22. Harvard definitely going to look to get it to the outside. There you have Schwartz, Mumbako there. Definitely some speed and power. Oh, but it's the bounce is going to go their way. Picked up by number four, Lewis. Passes out to O'Donnell. He has Schwartz in support. O'Donnell busting through the line. Mumbako is there looking for the pass. Passes a little bit ahead of him. He couldn't catch it at full speed. Good. O'Donnell going to try to take it in, but he's met by several Brown defenders. Last. Looks like Harvard has some numbers to the right. Taken by Prentice. He can absolutely bowl him through. He has some good roots at the uh, Seattle Seawolves organization. Definitely might be seeing him in an MLR jersey pretty soon. Harvard getting through yeah. the Brown line. Can this be it? The referee is going to call a try. That's a can of corn for the kid, Gavin Parentis. It's five to three, Harvard, pending the conversion. We're, we're gonna check out that replay right now. Going through their phases, Carter trying to set them up. Prentiss comes in there, gets the ball right out of the ruck, and he uses his big old body to get over the try line into the end goal, and that's five points. Now Gian Dementio for Harvard will be kicking the conversion. Try to make it seven to three. The kick is up. Splits the, no. No, the kick is not good, unfortunately. From my angle, it kind of looked like it was. We're going to come back out to midfield for the kickoff. It is five to three home team Harvard Crimson over the visiting Brown Bears. Harvard back to receive, favoring the left side with their formation. And that's exactly where it goes. Zoo takes the initial kickoff. Harvard now trying to get outside from inside their own 22. Number eight, Clark, trying his best to get out from the tacklers. Mumbako with a short little kick. I don't know if that was meant to be finding touch, but anyway, Brown has possession now, moving past midfield into Harvard territory. Oh, an attempted rubber kick by Brown ends up into the hands of Harvard. Brown has possession once again after the Harvard player was not able to handle that rebound. And here come the Bears. Ogilvy once again going hard into contact. This kid is hard to bring down. Out to number 10, Everly. Number two, sorry, Everly. Brown is going to kick to the corner. It is taken in by their player and in a successful chip kick and try. That's a can of corn there for the Brown Bears. And we're gonna check out this replay right now. Absolutely fantastic ball placement by Brown here. Attempted to the outside, doesn't quite work. But anyway, that chip kick, probably a good 15, 20 meters. And, here, and here's that replay of the chip kick out to the right corner. And barely contested. Kid finds green grass and five points. Now we're gonna wait for the conversion.
conversion is up. And it is no good. So it is eight to five. Brown over Harvard. We have a tight game here. Both teams are 0 for 1 on conversions. Each team with a try underneath their belt. Unfortunately for Harvard, Brown is pulling ahead with just that one penalty conversion up by three points. But this is definitely still anybody's ball game. And of course, it's always winner's ball here in rugby. So out comes O'Donnell for the kickoff. Kick solidly up the middle, fielded by Brown. They have a numbers advantage to the outside. Harvard now beginning to shift. Ogilvy takes it back inside. Brown trying to set up a pod right there. That fails with the inability to take in the pass. John Kim has absolutely been phenomenal for Brown getting the ball on the outside, weaving through defenders. That ball's on the ground, kicked by number seven, Lumkong for Brown, taken in by Schwartz for Harvard. And Harvard is now on the attack. Out to number five, Volts. Volts takes it into the contact. Carter out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell gonna try to reverse direction. He's gonna take it through the middle of the field. He has such great initial burst. You can never really bring this kid down on, on first contact. Mumbako gets it. He's going through defenders. Really skinny kid, but he's also Go somebody who can definitely push the pile. Harvard now making good progress. Swartz moving up the middle of the field. Good. Mumbako takes it out of the ruck. He's going to take it himself. You can never discount that speed of that young man. Out to Schwartz. Oh! But that might be an intentional knock-on by for Brown. So you see Mumbako no. takes it out of the ruck. And Ogilvy just tries to intercept it. Unfortunately, he just doesn't get there fast enough. And that is apparently not going to result in a yellow. Rather, the referee is going to call for a scrum. goes the put in by Carter. Carter out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell to Mumbako. No, Schwartz going into the ruck feet. first. Release. Thank you. Carter keeping the phase moving. No hands, Brown. Good. Out at number five, Volts. Bacher able to take his pass and gets gain some good meterage. Unfortunately for Harvard, that's going to be a penalty to the Brown Bears, and they're going to back it on up 10. But it looks like we might have an injury down there on the field. Yep. Nope, he's getting on back up. That's always good to see. Here's a replay of that of Harvard's most recent series of phases. Unfortunately, it results in the turnover when Harvard is able to get out of the breakdown cleanly. Definitely not something you want to see, especially with Brown being the team that they are, having possession in, the, in their territory. You want to make sure you're able to operate those phases cleanly and at least have some sort of drive result in points. So right now, we're just taking a minute away from play to make sure everybody, all 30 players on the field are healthy. So that's going to give the coaches a minute just to, for everybody to catch their breath. Time's back on. The referee is calling for time to go back on. Ogilvy for Brown is going to attempt to kick for touch. Mbako back there to perhaps receive, but that will not be necessary as it goes into the stands. Eberly for Brown with the ball, throwing into the line out. 
cleanly fielded by the Bears. Oh, but unfortunately, a wild errant pass does not go the way that they wanted it to. A ton of meters lost, but that does not seem to be a problem as right now the Bears are taking it right on back. Number eight, Kim for the Bears, able to take it into contact near the near the near touch line. No seven release, thank you. Hold. That ball goes forward, formerly in the in the Bears' possession. That goes out to Mumbako. Mumbako, look at that footwork, sidestepping defenders like it's nothing. That's gonna be messy. Let's come back here for the lost forward. The referee is calling that messy, and she's going to give the possession to Harvard and a scrum. It will be. Lost forward by Brown. Scrum to Black. And here's the replay of that most recent penalty here. You see Brown in possession deep inside Harvard territory. Unfortunately, they're not able to keep their discipline at the standard that their coach would probably like. That's going to give Harvard the put in. Here's the put in by Carter. He has Mumbako right behind him, but he's going to go to his right side. Number 10, O'Donnell, absolutely electrifying when this kid has the ball, but that's going to be a big hit by the Brown defender. Schwartz going to try to take it right out of the breakdown and get forward. Carter trying to get him to go down. We have another Brown defender injured. Balls out to Prentice. Prentice getting right back to the gain line. Carter out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell skipping a few out to Mumbako. Mumbako deeper down the line. He has a chance with Zoo. With Zoo. Out Brown. Thank you. Go, go. Good. Now one, get out. Thank you. Go. Fultz once again taking it into contact. He is an Brown. absolute wrecking ball when he goes into contact with the ball. O'Donnell passed to the outside, luckily fielded cleanly when it's not taken in properly. The referee is going to come back for a penalty. Head injury here. And we have a head injury on the field. We've got a guy down there. This one needs and we have bodies lying all over the pitch, so we are definitely going to have to take a minute. So right now, folks, the score is 8-5, to five, the Bears over the Crimson. And right now, this game has kind of been, I guess you could say it's been even-sided. Harvard has, and looks like we actually have the Brown coach heading, on, heading, heading out over to the field. You never want to see that when a coach feels it's necessary to have to go out and inspect a player himself. And that, for Brown is number six, Zeller. Can we, um, Zeller, three tries in his last game for the Bears. And here you see Ogilvy coming over to make sure his teammate is all good. Look at that. That is the spirit of rugby right there, folks. Making sure your teammate is able to get off rather than just setting out a tramer. That's Ogilvy going in there to make sure his teammate gets off in the best condition possible. Great game there by Zeller. He was able to take the ball into contact a few times, able to gain some valuable meters, and was able to put the Bears in the positions uh, that they were on several points during this match.
the referee is going to call for time back on. Brown has made the appropriate substitutions. Harvard, I'm sure, is going to try to get this game back on track. And it's going to be a scrum inside of Brown territory put into Harvard. Carter puts it in, out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell up to Mumbaco, over the head of Mumbaco, which is not easy to do, and that's probably going to be a knock. And that's going to be advantage for Brown, playing the knock on by Mumbaco. Two things, you're off your feet and you're playing the nine. So that's going to be a penalty to Brown after the advantage ends. Ogilvy is probably going to look to kick the touch. And a pretty low kick, but he does the job getting beyond the halfway point for Brown. And the Bears will be on the attack. How many you got? Seven. Number two, Eberly for Brown will be throwing in. Fine. Harvard takes this line out from Brown. Now moving and attacking on the outside. Mbako to Zhao does not work out. So on your tunnel. Yep, good. Good. And it's going to be a throw in by Everly once again to Brown. They're able to feel this one cleanly, but Great. no, says the referee. She's going to call a penalty to Harvard, not throwing in straight. So that's going to be another put in for the Crimson by Carter. Hang on, guys. Here comes the ball, fielded cleanly by Carter to the outside line. Great switch, Schwartz being the receptor on that one. Good, good. Number six, Collins now going into contact out of the ruck. Good, good. O'Donnell switching directions, he gets the pass. O'Donnell out to Schwartz, Schwartz going to take it. No hands eight. you were off your feet. Here comes Mumbako. Oh, can he get the running start? Yes, he can slightly. Look at that footwork once again, stepping over line. defenders. Now release for thank you. A Ball near mall the there for the Harvard Crimson, good, 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 but Mbako good. goes down. Oh, but that's gonna be forward by the Crimson. And they're gonna be playing advantage for Brown. There's There's a kick by Kim. and we're gonna take another look at that turnover. Here's the pass out to O'Donnell, but O'Donnell attempting to get around the defender just flies out of his arm. Just a bad miscue, but a great player nonetheless. Brown able to get that one out, out to Ogilvy. Ogilvy out to Oris. Sorry to Kim. Kim kicks it, Mumbako fields it. Schwartz taking the lead in the breakdown. And Harvard once again, just not able to cleanly field some of these passes out of the breakdown. And once again, it results in a turnover. Brown now attacking. Oh, a near interception by Mumbako. Still stays in the hands of the Brown Bears. 
and offload after offload. Brown is on the attack Release inside the Harvard 22. That's a penalty advantage game. Royal Black. Good. Good. Ogilvy taking it over the gain line. No knock. Referee calling it backwards off Harvard. Counter rock was fine and that was back. A little bit of sloppy play right now in terms of the ball handling from both teams. But Harvard once again Seven regains out. possession and they will likely look to clear. But no, they're gonna try to take this one as close to the 22 as possible. And here comes the clearance kick and that will find touch. Harvard, great defensive stand right there, making sure the Bears not able to turn this turnover into points. And we're gonna take a look at this turnover right here. Unfortunately, the Brown receiver, the Harvard receiver, sorry, does not able to field the pass. And Brown near try there on some passes to the far touch line. Here comes out of the line out, Brown now attacking. The referee is going to call Black a forward pass by the Brown Bears. Black at the end of the line. Two, Sorry, I said six, but it was at the end of the line, so I think it was two. It's a penalty. Thank you. Offside at the line out. Correction, that was offside by Harvard at the line out. So I did not forward it before I left back in. I'll watch the thing. Oops, nope. I did. I watched it. Um, yep. And Ogilvy once again will try to look for touch with his boot. And it's up. Great positioning right there for the Bears. And this could be a potential maul in for the try right now. Here's Everly with the throw in. Up to the oh, first pod oh. of Harvard, and here comes the mall. Oh, unfortunately, Harvard's mall defense looking about as good as Qui Gon Jin's at the moment, and that's going to be a try for the Brown Bears. All right, we're going to take one more look at that replay in the mall, and here it comes. Here we go, that store, the ball comes out of the left side of the mall, and the heart gets the dagger for the Harvard Crimson. And number 10, John Kim for the Brown Bears will be taking this conversion. The kick is up, but it goes shanks left. It is 13 to five, Brown over Harvard, and this game is absolutely within reach of both teams. John Kim now 0 for two on conversions. One for one on penalty conversions though. And out trots the Harvard Crimson to the halfway point of the field for this next kickoff. Donnell sends the kick, center right, center left, sorry. Here goes Kim. Kim's kick does not find touch. That passes to Carter. Carter taken down very quickly by the Bears defenders. Will they create a turnover inside the breakdown? Now that's a good contest over the ball. It was one and... And yes, they do. Brown creates the turnover. Out to Ogilvy. Ogilvy out to Kim.
Brown now going to try to get some points out of this latest trip into the Harvard Crimson zone. Release Brown! And that's going to be a penalty for Harvard not releasing by the Brown Bears. Two. Black seven. Here goes O'Donnell with the kick to touch. And that will be a Harvard throw in just past the midway point inside of Bears territory. Here goes the throw in by Harper. Up to the second pod, but the referee is going to call that back. She'll be calling a scrum with a put into Brown for a not straight throw in on the line out. Just wait for the ball. Throw. Five. Set. Hold. Brown winning their own scrum. Out to Ogilvy. Ogilvy, great inside pass to number 14, Lee. Lee gets past Mumbako. No, not quite, and it goes into touch. Mumbako with a great try saving tackle. The long legs, the speed. How can you not be excited about this kid? Let's see one more look at that run by Lee. Getting past Harvard defenders. You think he's going to get around no, Mumbako no, here with the angle, but no, Mumbako makes that great last attempt. Forward. Able to get his arms around his waist and bring him down. Here goes the throw in by Harper in the line out. To the first pod. Carter able to recover it. Out to Schwartz. Schwartz inside of his own try zone, just barely gets out. O'Donnell with the kick, but that's going to stay in midfield. Out to Kim. Kim has support on the outside. High black offside. And there's going to be an advantage. Now roll. Offsides by Harvard. Penalty advantage. Brown can afford to play some high risk, but they're not going to have to. That's going to be a try in between the post, despite Mumbako's attempts to knock him out. So that's two unanswered tries now by the Brown Bears over the Harvard Crimson here on their home turf at Magoni Field. And we have a score now of 18 to five. Here you can see that great swim move over Pierce O'Donnell, who is usually a stalwart defensive player, just as he is on offense. Unfortunately, that time, just not able to get the wrap, which results in the try by Brown. And now Kim will be going out for the conversion. Currently 18 to five. And make it 20 to five. Kim making his first try conversion kick of the game. Fortunately, this one was from perhaps more of a favorable angle. Harvard now with a 15 point deficit in the first half to climb out of. Both of these teams, the most recent loss by both of these teams was to Dartmouth. And in both of those games, each of these teams only were able to manage one try. So that's one sort of irrelevant parallel that I guess I'm gonna draw and let you folks know about. O'Donnell up to midfield for the kickoff. Sent it, sent it to the left side. Might not even have made it 10 meters, but Brown is not really going to care. Carter makes the try saving tackle. Go, 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 go. Brown continuing to move their offense through their phases. Out to number 10, Kim. He has Ogilvy in support. Ogilvy into the breakdown. 
Out to number five, Zhao. Brown now over the Harvard 22. Just continuing to work and make the Harvard defense shift from side to side. That is definitely going to take its toll on stamina. Lee with the offload. Little messy on that one. That's going to be. That is going to be an advantage, Brown. And Harvard will back it up 10. Although definitely good on them for, for quelling some of the momentum by the Bears there. And Ogilvy saying the kicking for the post be damned. We want another try. And he finds the corner with his boot. It's going to be a Brown throw in. Full. Good. Black, you're on the line. All right, it's going to be a Brown throw in. Everly, the hooker for the Bears. Can we see another mall? Up to the first pod. And yes, it's going to be another mall. Can the Crimson? Oh, that might have been knocked forward. And yes, indeed, it was. That's going to be a knock on by the Bears. Absolutely ruining a great opportunity to put some more points on the board. Lucky break for Harvard. And it's going to be a scrum at the five meter. We're going to see a meter, a, a replay right now. Just barely comes out of the Brown Bears' hands. And Harvard now has a chance to clear it and prevent any further points against them in this half. Both feet behind nine, nine. No. So it's not going to be a clear. Instead, Swartz is going to take it over the five meter. He's going to keep on going. No, you weren't held because you got up and ran into your own player who then prevented a Brown player from scoring. Oh, and no. unfortunately, the official is going to call interference as Schwartz, despite the fact a ruck was not formed over him, he got up, ran into one of his own players, resulting in a Brown player not able to make a fair contest for the tackle. Lost opportunity for Harvard to, to gain some more territory, make sure the Brown Bears will have to work for this try. Unfortunately, it's going to seem like it's going to be a bit easier for the Bears at this point to put five more on the board. That scrum comes down. Quick tap by the Bears. Referee's going to say, come on back, not yet. Okay, I'm sorry. It's still a free kick. So Mark is there. So free kick to them. You guys are back 10. So Mark is there. Yes. You do. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a really quick one. So sorry about that. Scrum. Captain called a scrum. So. We're going to go to another scrum just outside the five meter. Put in by Brown. Smith puts in. Stay bound. Use it. Takes out Kim's his first receiver out to Ogilvy. Ogilvy inside to Lavilla, and Lavilla is going to put it underneath the post, and that's another try for the Brown Bears. 25 to 5. Bears over the home team, Crimson. And Harvard is definitely going to have to make some adjustments at halftime. Take a look at this replay right here. Smith gets it out to Kim. Kim down to Ogilvy. Ogilvy one more to Lavilla, who splits the defenders and puts it right there for pay dirt. That's a can of corn. This kick could not be any more easier for Kim on the conversion. And indeed, that's two more points. 27-5, to five, and the referee is going to call halftime. Well, folks, as I said, 27-5 to five here at the half. Right now, some standout players. Of course, uh, Alex Ogilvy for the Brown Bears. Absolutely brutal when he, go, when he goes through into the contact, especially right outside the ruck. Jordan Mumbaco absolutely showing off his speed for the Harvard Crimson. People have been unable to catch him. Unfortunately, it has not resulted in a ton of points. 
So, of course, the Crimson going to have to make some halftime adjustments there in the locker room. The Bears just going to have to keep on rolling and make sure they cut down on the mistakes inside Harvard territory. I feel like this game definitely would be a, a bit more lopsided had the Bears just stayed disciplined at a few crucial junctures. So we're going to take a break now for halftime, folks. I'm Liam Poach, and we will see you for the next 40. working at the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo and this area called Ginza, so which is center of Tokyo. Local sponsorships, Tradeview Markets is committed to helping the sport of rugby grow. Investing in local amateur rugby teams around the world allows Tradeview to make a positive impact in the team's community and provide support where it is really needed, rather than advertising with professional teams that don't need the money. Rugby has played a huge role in Tradeview's phenomenal success. Many of our staff play or coach rugby, and we recognize the positive influence the sport has had in their lives. This is our way of giving back to the sport. Our goal is to put a Tri Trade View logo on every top local rugby team jersey in the world. <clears throat> what these guys have done for us, for our country, is something that could never be paid back. 
something that us as civilians could only appreciate and respect. Uh, I mean, there's some hard stories in there, so they, uh, they're all great guys. You wish they were still here today with you, but you understand, you know, duty calls, they, they serve the mission, and there's tragic, you know, there's tragedy and everything, and, you know, a lot of them died in war, others died when they came back home, and a lot of suffering and pain involved, but you try to bring the good out in every situation, and this is what, we, this is our way of doing it. My dad uh, loved rugby, played it in college and played it in the Marine Corps. Rugby was a big part of his life, you know, it was a big thing that he enjoyed. It was a way to, to bond with others and to kind of release stress when he was in the Marine Corps. Um, and John, unfortunately, died by suicide in 2005. Um, returned from a deployment in Iraq and really was struggling with, with depression and post-traumatic stress and didn't get the help he needed and, and died, you know, three months after he returned. He didn't get to play. We were supposed to play. And he first Marine killed in Afghanistan. And, uh, you know, sometimes I wonder if it was my fault. But I know, I know I gotta, I gotta be better. And I've been in the slump. I've had some more time to, you know, and my, you know, my daughter passed away three years ago. And it, it just all steamrolled. And then, I finally got back around rugby again, and I got in touch with these guys, and I knew at that moment I had to, because I got to fix myself for him. And we are, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. For Sorry, my volume was a little messed up there. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and here's the kickoff by Brown to begin the second half. Harvard taking possession, but oh no, it looks like a turnover early on. The Bears early on moving inside Harvard territory, but no, it looks like it turned over inside the, the breakdown. That's going to be Prentice taking it out. Here comes Schwartz, but he's met at the gain line. Carter trying to get his people settled at the breakdown. Harvard now working to get out of their zone. Out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell looking for options. Harvard favoring numbers right, but going left. Here's to Prentice. Prentice attempted offload is not well received, and that's going to be a turnover to the Bears. Brown working now out of formation. O'Donnell on the tackle. And that's going to go out to Lumkong, who's going to take it a few meters. Oh, great breakaway by the Bears. Here comes Ogilvy in support. He's able to take it in. Oh, but that might be a double knock. And it's going to come back for the initial penalty by Harvard. It's going to be Brown possession. Ogilvy taking this off his boot. Going to try to find that corner once again. See if Brown can execute that just deadly maul. Here goes Brown with the throw in. And here comes the maul, but that's going to collapse pretty darn quickly. The referee's going to bring it back out to the five meter for a scrum. 
And it looks like it's going to be a put-in for Harvard. Referee's going to bring the scrum back up for a little reset. Carter gets the ball out. Here comes Sebastian Schwartz, hard charging over the five meter line. Raz Brown! Out to Mumbako. Mumbako fighting through tackles. Look at those long legs, just no, Brown, one stride is practically please, please, five Brown. meters. No, no. The Rock. Harvard being methodical about the way they move the ball. Here comes Prentice. A release, no hands, pen, pen. Good. Here. Out to O'Donnell, O'Donnell dummies. Big old stiff arm, and he's still up. Now it's the eight, eight. Sebastian Schwartz and Gavin Last Prentice three. on the outside and support to the left. Here it is out to Schwartz. Carter's going to take it himself out to Prentice. Prentice lowering the shoulder. Go, 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 guys. Carter finds Mumbako. Schwartz in immediate support on the right. And that's going to be a penalty Arriving to Brown. Another productive feet. phase by Harvard, Arriving ruined by a lack of discipline. Feet, you must release. And she's going to call that not yep. releasing on Jordan Mumbako. Uh, if you kick it that way, yes. Here you go. Carter's going to take that himself. He's going to pass it off to Prentice. Prentice is going to lower the shoulder going into contact. Carter takes it once again. But unfortunately, I mean, it is not going to result in a ton of meters you, as eventually gets to Mbako. Mbako's holding it inside of the breakdown results in the penalty. How many? Seven. So if I'm that time, I'll give a step forward. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure all your guys. Here are comes with you. Everly with the throw in to the first Hold. pod, and that's going to be another maul from pretty far out this time. Can Harvard stop it? No, it was all backward. That's John fine. Kim in immediate support. Guys, Kim to Ogilvy. You. Ogilvy down the line, but that goes right behind the backs of his of his back line. 15, Tay no, able to away. recover. 15, 15, you had to go. Brown able what to work way? well to the outside so far. Fine release. <laughs> Arriving player on and his feet. You held it. Didn't release. So that's going to be not releasing on the Brown Bears, giving okay, possession okay. to the Harvard Crimson, and that's going to be a kick to touch by O'Donnell. And that kick just about finds midfield. Okay. Maybe a tad bit short. Okay. Mark. Guys. Hold. With you. So if I'm the tunnel, I need everybody a half meter off the side. Thank you. Here goes the throw in by Harper. First pod by Brown goes up with nothing. Carter, here goes the pass. Pass out to out to Mumbako. He has Schwartz in, su in support. Schwartz into the breakdown. Carter wants to get out, out to O'Donnell. Five, flat. Number 11, D'Souza for Harvard gets it. Harvard with Last possession over the halfway point now. This is where they need to make something happen. 
Number Bravo. 20 for the Crimson brings it just past the big old letter H. O'Donnell, quick dummy standing still. Harvard still able to retain possession, but they are moving backwards. Harvard Fine, needs to get fun. organized. They do not have a whole lot of options for their ball carries, but here goes Mumbako. Mumbako trying to pass to the outside. Number eight, Clark taking it pretty far. Backward play. Back to Mumbako, but Mumbako with From a advantage Brown. pass to the pass forward. It's going oh. to be advantage Brown. 13 black, thank you. And we're probably going to see a scrum pretty soon. Ogilvy to Kim. Kim taking it into contact. Harvard able to keep him at bay. All right, 12 out. Good, good. That's advantage over for the knock. 13 flat, get out. Play. Good. Har Harvard not able to take down the Brown ball carriers. Brown working very well, we'll especially to the outside. Good, crisp passes. Yep. Ogilvy, the you put Ogilvy there, right now, Brown. the first you option, looking there. for the ball. Hold. He gets it. Out to Kim. Kim will try to get some meters. He makes one break. He has nobody around him, but that might not be a problem. He tries to get the offload. He dummies. He gets taken down by Mumbako. They're Bring right in front down. of the post. This is where Brown has just been so deadly, whether it be from passing or from the mall. Let's see how the visitors can work right now deep inside Crimson Territory. But Harvard is going to turn it over. No, seven, seven, you're on the body. Thank you. Har Harper takes it into contact. Here goes O'Donnell trying to get some more room out to the outside. Makes now it over the five meter. There. Gavin Prentice, the primary option to the right side. Good. Jordan Mumbako right behind. Oh, an attempted kick is blocked by Brown. Mumbako takes it past the Prentice. Prentice to the outside. Rock! Good. Gavin Prentice punishing the Brown defenders with every Good. single carry, lowering his shoulder. Mumbako gonna try to take it on the far touch line. That goes backward, o recovered by O'Donnell. Taken back! Carter trying to find options. Nice offload by Volt. O'Donnell trying to take that to the outside. He ends up losing a, a few meters on that one. Prentice Backward. not able to corral that, but that goes right into the arms of Jordan Mumbako. Easy, easy, guys. Easy for... Sebastian Schwartz able to get the Play. offload. Harvard once again, though, moving backward after it seemed like they were getting gaining some promising meters. And here comes the Crimson once again. That's Sebastian Schwartz. No, Brown. Vantage. Oh, bad pass. Thank you. Luckily, it was an advantage, Harvard. The Crimson will retain possession, and the Brown Bears will back it on up 10. Yep. Yes. <laughs> We're going to see a quick replay of that break right there by Swartz. He makes it through yep, one, guys, two defenders, three out. defenders before he's absolutely brought down. The first two. All right. <laughs> when we just have a quick yeah, stoppage of time, as I believe we are dealing with a footwear issue out on the field. Yeah. Because our girls are free kicks are going early. <laughs> <laughs> While we have a minute, I just want to give a shout out to the crew at Earful of Dirt, <laughs> the greatest podcast covering Major League Rugby right. in the United States. So shout out to the crew there listening. Line here to black. Uh, that's all. Uh, on me. Yeah, yeah. Good. Here goes Harper with the throw in for Harvard. But Brown steals it at the first no, call, but that's back to Harvard. Carter. Flat play. Schwartz and Mumbako. 
Mbaka moving to the middle of the field. He's got that speed. Can he beat one more defender? And he's going to go all the way. Jordan Mbaka with a can of corn there, kid. Try it, Warden. And we are going to try to find that replay for you, folks. Jordan Mumbako from the halfway point of the field dodges one, two, three defenders. And once he gets to the outside, and once he gets that angle, you are not going to catch this kid. That is why he is one of the most electrifying athletes in Ivy League. And here's that replay. Sebastian Schwartz gets the pass to Mumbako. Just a short little offload. That's one defender. Two, three, four, five. And he gets the angle on Kim. And there she goes. And that's all she wrote. Waiting for the conversion now for Harvard. A successful conversion here will put them down by only 15, which is three unconverted tries. Kick by Carter is up. Oh, and it is unfortunately whiffed. It does not make it even close to the post. 27 to 10 is our score right now here in the second half. And here we go now. Harvard will be receiving this kickoff, something we haven't seen in a while other than the beginning of the half. Kick is up, it is shallow left. Into the arms of the waiting Harvard player. And the Crimson are gonna set up. Out to Harper, Harper with a great run. Brown defender hanging on to his jersey. He eventually goes down near midfield. Carter out of the ruck, out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell putting, his, the, putting the hand into the face of the Brown defender. Gotta love this kid. Good, Colt. Carter taking it himself. He finds some he finds some open space out of the ruck. That's gonna be Sebastian Schwartz. One stiff arm, two stiff arm. He's gonna split the defenders. Can he go? Is there any ruck form? Can he get it on the second extension? No, Harvard's gonna have this at the one meter. The Crimson are gonna have to work for this try. And the try is awarded. It's number 15, Jordan Mumbako with his second can of corn of the day. Well, you absolutely got to give it up to Mumbako. None of that would have been possible without the absolute crazy break of bay by Sebastian Schwartz. You think Mumbako is exciting? Take a look at this kid. Harper takes it a good couple of meters, and that's a hooker carrying the ball. You don't see that a whole lot often. Carter out of the scrum. Here's O'Donnell. O'Donnell with a pretty good run and a stiff arm. There's Sebastian Schwartz in support right behind Carter, he gets the offload. One defender, two defender, three defender. Two brown bears close in on him. He takes it to the one meter. Carter sets him up and Mumbako with those long arms and legs gets the pay dirt. And that conversion attempt by Pierce O'Donnell is going to be no good. It's 27 to 15. The Brown Bears over the Harvard Crimson. We got ourselves a barn burner here tonight, folks. I don't know why I'm talking in a southern accent. I'm from Swamp Scott. I did spend a year in Houston, though. The kick is up by the Bears. Attemptedly Put short. In the air, play. Last Just barely 10 play. meters, and the Bears will retain. Ball's available. No, six. Thank you. Good. Brown Bears going to switch direction now. Eberly taking it. To release. Go.
Harvard needs to start making some of the more important tackles here deep inside their territory. Here's an attempt to kick by Kim. Fielded cleanly by number seven for Harvard, Jimenez. No, no, no. And Carter get will up, look to up. set him up outside of the ruck. Once again, Harvard's going to try to move methodically, get it out of their territory. Left. Pass out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell out to Mumbako. Mumbako with the dummy and the pass out to out, out to his teammate. D'Souza there in support. D'Souza into the breakdown. Carter gets the ball out. Out to Schwartz. No, Brown nine. Easy, guys. Harvard now trying to make some progress. Get it just no, no, barely no, getting past their two by Collins. Thank you. There goes Schwartz. Rock. Go. Prentice, the primary option. He gets the ball. Mbako's right there behind him in the breakdown, followed by D'Souza. Here Get comes Carter out. out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell to Mbako. Mbako takes the ball once again. Oh, and unfortunately, that great grouping of phases by Harvard taken down by a knock-on by Jordan Mbako, and that's going to be a scrum to the Brown Bears. Yes. Here goes that hit on Mbako. Yes. And there's where the referee calls it. And it's going to be a scrum to Brown just past the 25 meter line inside of Harvard territory. Sir, please. Brown! Stop! Set! Here goes the scrum engagement. Here's the put in by Smith. Fine! Oh, I thought the official was going to miss that, but she did not. That's a knock on by Brown. And it's a s and that's going to be a scrum to the Harvard Crimson. Not by eight. Yeah, go back. Damn it. So thank you, better. Right. Brown. Five. Set. To put in by Carter. Hughes, Hughes, fine on the timing, ball is that out. That pass is on the ground, but fielded by Schwartz. Schwartz to O'Donnell, O'Donnell with the chip kick, that's blocked, but recovered by Harvard. And the referee is going to call another penalty to Brown, <coughs> and that's going to be some great field position for the visiting team. the engagement referee is going to reset this huh. scrum listen this honor okay to our fine cool right that hit sticks it out they need to so he's not on your arm Goes Brown in the one three two. Kim gets the initial pass out of the scrum. Go, go. Ogilvy the initial go. option right there at the breakdown. Out to Ogilvy. Ogilvy once again. Little chip kick, but that's going to be oh, almost brought Brown in by Carter. 
Brown now playing advantage. So many breaks like that for Harvard that just don't quite go their way, but could have been everything. Hold, hold, thank you. Easy. Harvard now working to the outside, getting faster and faster, and looks like this might be a try. Oh, nope, but the touch judge is going to call him out just before pay dirt is reached. Now here you're going to see an attempted Ready? chip kick by Ogilvy gets blocked by Harvard, attempted to, to be brought in by the scrum half for Harvard, Carter. That doesn't go his way. Brown able to get it to the outside, just close to pay dirt there for the Brown Bears, but the, the foot of the ball carrier touches the far touch line, and we're going to get a line out. But first, and of course, yeah. most importantly, just making sure all 15 players are healthy especially for the Brown side, which has seen its fair share of injuries so far in this game. Now here goes the Harvard throw-in. Number two, Harper for Harvard. Say that three times fast. Harvard's Hold. the first pod. They're going to try to maul out of their own territory. Just barely getting over the five meter. And they're still rolling, but the ball's going to come out, and that you is turned over Brown and in possession of Brown University. Brown now once again working Last their way break. back towards the try line. Kim's work rate so far for Brown Throw has been stuff. through the roof We're today. Scrum to Brown. And we're going to have a scrum to the Brown Bears. Try black. We're going to take a second look in. Yeah. We're going to take a second look in here. B Harvard was moving pretty Stay well up. with that mall. Unfortunately, the ball just popped out, and Brown once again able to get possession. And here we see them working inside of Harvard's Brown. territory. Five points just. Meters away. Set. Man. Smith with the takeout. Out to Kim. Kim going to try to find the try himself. And he does. Right beneath the post. Post. That's John Kim for the Harvard Brown. For sorry for the Brown Bears. And that's how you not give up on a try. We're going to take another look. David, uh, John Kim right. just going through defenders. You think he's going to go down there. But like I said about not giving up, hey, he keeps on going, keeps his feet moving. Just let Dave know that I'm going to try to... And he's going to put it between the posts the just mm -hmm. to put the exclamation mark at the end of that good old sentence. Material to this day. I don't have to call anything. And that conversion is good. <coughs> 34 to 15 right now here at Magoni Field. Brown over the home team, Harvard Crimson. We have roughly 13 minutes remaining in this game and those who are veterans about watching rugby or playing rugby know that anything can happen in this game and it's absolutely within the realm of reason for Harvard to come back. But Brown is going to try to make sure that nothing like that happens. Ogilvy is going to field it. He Seven. takes the kick and his Thank kick, you. will it find touch? No, it's going to find D'Souza. D'Souza to Carter. Nothing out, guys. But the touch judge is going to say that his foot was out. I'm not sure about that. You hear me? But either way, Eberly for Brown is we going to come to do the throw-in. We carried it out by Black. Okay. Yep. Line to Brown. Brown to the second pod, but turned Backward over play. into the hands of Prentice and then to Volts. No, it's two. 
Last. Hold. Carter finds Harper. Hold. Gavin Prentice the Prentice. first option. Out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell to Swartz. Swartz to Mumbaco. He's got D'Souza on the left of him. Carter trying to move fast, gets it to Prentice. Prentice brings defenders in on him. Harvard might have some holes. Carter to O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Now release Brown. Thank you. Flex five out there. Here comes Sebastian Schwartz once again. Can he make it over the halfway mark? He does. Harvard still moving. Here goes O'Donnell. Gets it to Carter. Play. Ooh, Everly tackles Carter hey, into hey, hey, touch. Hey, hey, hey. We got two and two. So what I saw is black nine carried it out. Did you see anything different? Yeah, yeah. Black nine carried it out, line to Brown. So the, r the official is going to say Carter Good carried line. it out. That's going to be a throw black in to Brown. On the line and we're going to check a replay here. Here goes O'Donnell on a great carry as usual. Yep. D'Souza takes it in, offloads to Over. Carter. Carter tries to do the dummy step. Backward. Unfortunately, Good. taking the touch. Backward oh, Ogilvy not able to field that cleanly. Good. Easy, guys. Brown working no to the outside. Black, Black it's a wrap. Thank you. Brown with the kick. D'Souza and Mumbako back there to receive. Here comes Mumbako. D'Souza on his left side. Carter coming into the breakdown. D'Souza clears out the ruck. Eight, eight. You're off. You're off. Fine. No hands. Harvard, can they get Play. it to the outside? Field it cleanly. Go. Out to Lewis. Lewis to Swartz. Swartz might have lost that forward. And yes, the referee is playing advantage for Brown. Hold. Ogilvy sends a sky Lewis high kick, not a whole lot of meters, and that's going to find touch, and that will be a throw into Harvard. Was it directed? Take another Alex, look at I this turnover here. Over because you weren't under any pressure. Swartz when just loses that forward when he takes the hit. Okay. Line here to Black, straight out by Brown. After which Ogilvy decided to clear that yeah. out and send it out of play. So here goes Harper tunnel, on the throw in. Moving, right? Thank you. With me. Okay. Good. Thank you. Harper to the first paw, but that Five doesn't find his teammates. Instead, it finds Move Brown. Players. Easy. Advantage on the high. You have penalty advantage last, guys. Kim to Ogilvy. That's advantage over. Get out, Black. Thank you. Harvard trying to find their sp trying to find their foundation as they move back into Good. defense, but Hot for Brown is just moving it too quickly. Thank you. Ogilvy's pass finds Off the, the ground. An attempted play kick play. by Lee goes nowhere. Backward play on. Ogilvy's pass is. Ogilvy's pass is tipped and Easy brought guys. in by O'Donnell. You know Unfortunately, oh, and we might have guys. some Come on. pushing and shoving here at midfield by O'Donnell. Not exactly sure why that was called back. back. Yeah. 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 Who's coming off black? And what here's number? that attempted pass oh. by Ogilvy, tipped by O'Donnell, and you would think he brings it in. Unfortunately, the referee called off sides. I can see that now. Yeah, yeah. And they will be kicking for post to put this game 
pretty much out of reach for the Crimson. I didn't have a problem with your timing. I had a problem with where you started, okay? I was just talking to Tent. To let him know. You're good. Here goes the shot at post for Brown. It's up. And that is good. 37-15. Brown Bears over the Harbor Crimson. Thirty-six to fifteen, sorry. Here comes the kick by O'Donnell. Not a great one, does not find 10 meters. Yep. Especially for a young man who's not used to kicking and this amount of work that he's put in in a game like this so far, it's definitely probably a little bit more difficult to get a good All right, let's kick, especially All right, on the when you're We're looking the ahead at hips. the score. We're going to have a scrum at midfield put in by Brown. So again, I think a little bit closer. So especially for you. This official definitely not afraid to reset the scrum, making sure everybody is safe, and especially at the collegiate level, that's paramount when you want to make sure that everybody gets out of this game having Brown. fun and safe. Here's the engagement. Smith puts it in. It comes out cleanly, cleanly out to Ogilvy. Oh, and unfortunately, Lee cannot bring it in cleanly. Easy, guys, easy. Hey, 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 11. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. O'Donnell obviously has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder right now, going pretty hard into that tackle, saying you guys might be winning. But you're yeah, still in Boston. No, 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 scrum. Lost the core. Here's the mark right at the crosser. And that's going to be a scrum to Harvard put in by Carter. Brown! Here's the engagement. Carter puts in. Comes out cleanly. No. Ball was Good out. defense by Brown. Yep. O'Donnell taking it just past halfway. <laughs> and the official is going to call a penalty in favor of Brown. Here goes Ogilvy with the quick tap. He's taking it past the Harvard 22. No ruck is formed. He keeps Roger, on going. Thank you. the first knock here and that's going to be a knock on penalty to Harvard yeah. and they're going to go ahead and scrum yeah, it up yeah, made the mark. just okay. inside the Harvard 22 yep. leg so far, but it's hard for you to reach up above. <coughs> Brown! Five! Set! Carter takes out of the rock. Ball Once again, out. the Brown defenders are right there.
that's got to be frustrating for Harvard as they're not they haven't been able to get a whole lot of ground gain from their attacking platforms and just like that Brown is going to extend their lead try awarded Bobby 41 to 15 Brown Bears over the Harvard Crimson the conversion is to come but this should be a pretty easy kick there for John Kim. We're going to see that replay right there. Not quite underneath the post, but a good pass to the outside by Ogilvy. Ogilvy's offload finds exactly where it needed. And five more points for Brown. Here goes Kim with the conversion. It's up. And it's good. 43 to 15, Brown over Harvard. When we have less than two minutes remaining in this game. I think it's safe to say Brown will be moving just a bit closer to Dartmouth when it comes to the final standings in the Ivy League North. Harvard, of course, now definitely going to be clawing their, clawing their way back up the standings if they want a shot at the postseason. O'Donnell's kick to number three, Geis. Number eight, Kim taking it for Brown. Smith out to Kim. Out to number 12. Sorry, who is that for Brown? Number seven takes it, Lumkong. No hits tonight, Stacy. Roll 19. Brown moving more efficiently than ever Lumkong. in this entire game. Harvard seems to be on their last legs when it comes to stamina. Oh, but I spoke too soon. A wild Brown pass finds touch, and it's going to be a Harvard throw in the line out. Here comes Harper with the throw in for Harvard. O'Donnell and Schwartz, the first options. Out to the third pod. Good. And that is a turnover once again by the Brown Bears. They're gonna try to find the outside. They got numbers. And a pretty standard try for the Brown Bears there. Let's check out that replay right there. Pass to the outside. And they find it on the far touch line. Brown extends the lead even more. Definitely a tale of two halves here, ladies and gentlemen. Harvard went into halftime with not the biggest deficit in the world. Definitely seemed possible that they could climb their way back and win this game. Unfortunately, stamina, stamina definitely played a big part of this. Brown able to keep it up despite a number of injuries and forcing a number of subs. Not to say that Harvard definitely didn't have their fair share of excitement. Of course, players, as always, Sebastian Schwartz, Pierce O'Donnell, Jordan Mumbaco, and D'Souza tearing it up out there on the pitch. But that is going to be the end of the game. Final score, 48-15 to 15 in favor of the Brown Bears. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to Next Level Rugby. My name is Liam Poach, and this has been some Ivy League rugby action on Saturday afternoon.
Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Signing off.